Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to part two of me tagging channels that I currently enjoy watching and are current um, and are putting up videos at the moment. So this will be probably the longest video because I watch so many crafters. This is going to be people that knit, crochet, cross stitch, uh, sew and all bits and pieces like that that are in our crafty community. Um, so I have a long list and it does go back it does go onto the other page all the way down the bottom. I'm going to just quickly, briefly give you the name and sort of a quick line of their channel, I suppose, because this one might be a bit longer. Uh, so first of all, we have, and you probably all know, we have Jan Carruthers. Um, this lady was the one that got me into doing my own videos. Um, I watched her channel for quite a while and I thought, hmm, this is really interesting. And she was one of the um, people that I first started watching. I didn't watch any other um, crafty people on YouTube. I, I don't know how I got to her video. It must have just come up randomly one day. Um, and then I started watching other people and then... The, it just went on and on and on and snowballed from there. So we have Jan Carruthers. Uh, please go check her out. She's a lovely lady. And if you don't follow her, what are you doing? <laughs> um, we have Ruth from Pink Pumpkin Crochet. She crochets. Um, she crochets lots of blankets. And she's doing a sort of uh, mini granny square blanket at the moment with thousands of ends. So please go and give her some support um, because I couldn't do that. <laughs> uh, so go check her out. Uh, we have Kelly from Crafted from, uh, sorry, Kelly from Crafted by Kelly X. Uh, she does some amazing crochet. Um, she's part of Lancashire Crafty Lass crafty lasses which is um kelly and jan so go check out their website it's uh lancashire crafty lasses um but she has just bought out a pattern for a jumper and it is amazing i need to find out what the um the measurements are because it does look like a really really nice jumper um so yeah go check her out we have Sonia from Sonia Jones Crafty Life and More. She crochets. Do you knit, Sonia? I think you do. Yes, you do. Um, and she hasn't put a video out for a little while, but she is active sort of on social media, on Facebook, and she's one of the lovely ladies that comes and joins us on Zoom. Um, but she has got some wonderful, wonderful pieces that she's made. Um, and on her YouTube channel, she sells toys that are CE tested and everything like that. So go check her out. Uh, we have Amy from Stranded Again, who I explained on the first video. Um, she um, got a hand-dyed yarn business. Hand-dyed yarn business, yep. Uh, Claire from Beautiful Things, she has a business called Beautiful Things. She does a BTHQ banter, which is Beautiful Things headquarters banter every week. And she teaches people how to sew, how to uh, use their sewing machines, how to knit, how to crochet. Um, loads and loads of different stuff. And I've been watching her for quite a while. She's from Brentwood, which is not that far from me. And I think that's why I sort of started following her because she was so close. It was like, oh my God, someone's so close. <laughs> um, we have Kim from Blue Cherub 82 that does the most wonderful amigurumis that you ever, ever see. They are amazing. Um, I have to be in the mood for amigurumis, but Kim just seems to be in the mood all the time. She makes lovely blankets too. We have Debbie from the Canadian Crocheter. Um, she makes so many random, random bits, scarves, shawls, blankets, hats, um, just so much stuff that, go check her out, she's a lovely lady. We have Linny from Candy Goth Creations. Um, I don't think Linny has put a video out for a couple of weeks, but she is still very active everywhere else. Um, and she does, 
quite a few random things as well. She knits, she crochets, she has done, um, uh, she's done amigurumis, she's done scarves, uh, she's done shawls, all different stuff, so. Um, and then we have obviously my sister, uh, my camera is about to die, but we have my sister, which is Casey's family vlogs slash hauls. Um, she hasn't put a video up for a little while, but please go and check out my sister's channel. It's always linked down below. Um, she's just having a break for the moment while all this craziness is going on. Uh, but let me change uh, my battery and then we can get on with the list. Okay, battery changed. Now time for the rest of the list. <laughs> we have uh, Country Bumpkin Creates. I'm so sorry, I can't remember your name. But she lives in Devon and she knits some beautiful things as well. She's a knitter. Um, I'm not sure if she crochets. Um, but she has done some beautiful uh, jumpers and things like that. So just go check her out. Go check everyone out. <laughs> uh, we have... Ellie from Craft House Magic. Um, she does a podcast. Really, really enjoyed her um, vlogmas. Um, so, but she has done um, some really, really nice things recently. She's um, made some lovely shawls, socks, blankets. You name it, she's probably done it. Uh, we have dramatic knits. Um, I don't. Um, I haven't been watching them for long. Um, it was, um, I think his name's David. I'm sorry if I've got that wrong. Was it Steve? I'm terrible with names. Can you tell? Anyway, <laughs> uh, but he is um, knitting. I watched his video the other day. Oh my god, this is terrible. I'm so sorry. Um, but just go check him, check the channel out. It's Dramatic Knits. Uh, then we have Dunder Knits. Um, I haven't watched her videos for a little while, but I'm obviously still subscribed to her channel. Um, and I watched her through Vlogmas, and I watched for a little while after Vlogmas and things. Um, she knits and she does some really, really nice things. Um, then we have Tina from Fancy Lady Cross Stitch. Um, I've been watching her for ever, it feels like. She had a channel called Simply In Stitches. And um, a lot of the people on there were knitters because she does knit and she does crochet and she cross stitches. Um, and a lot of the people were um, knitters. So she's kept that channel um, to show her knitted items or crocheted items and then she started up this new channel to um, show her cross stitch. Now when lockdown first started she was furloughed so she vlogged every day which I really really enjoyed but she showed both on there. She showed her yarny and her cross stitchy stuff. Um, she is I think doing one a week at the moment um, as she's had to go back to work but she does some really lovely stuff she do, uh, she's knitted a boxy she's knitted socks um she's cross stitching some beautiful things that i could never imagine doing um so yeah that's tina we have uh, the fleece and harmony podcast uh it's two sisters that own a um shop that they hand dye their own yarn from the farm that they own so they have alpacas I think um, and they get the fleece from there they do what they need to do and then they dye their own yarn so but it's really nice to have two people on a podcast as well like that because you see the different things that they make um, and it's like it for me if i saw someone knitting something which i normally do i want to make that so and then i i start it where with them they they never sort of do the set like do the same thing um so that is really good we have um erin from gimme yarn 418 and she has um all different types of videos on her channel um she I think she's doing like a craft room tidy up at the moment. Uh, but she used to do um, 
thank god it's finished i'm sure it was that for like friday she used to do a video every friday thank god it's finished tgif um so yeah i i really really enjoyed her I'm, i've watched her for years um we have grace from gp gb Bah, 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 bah. Grace from GB Maltese. She does a lot of diamond painting at the moment. Um, when I first started watching her, she was cro uh, cro crocheting. I don't know where my words are today. She was crocheting quite a lot. Um, but she's doing a lot of diamond painting, which are amazing. She does reviews and things like that. We have the grocery grocery girls. Um, I've watched those from the beginning as well. Um, I don't watch the whole way through I know that sounds really terrible but um, I find that their podcasts are really really long so I like to watch sort of what they've been making um, and stuff like that they get a lot of stuff for giveaways and um, what they've bought and I, I sort of flick through that sort of thing I very rarely watch the street the ones that they've streamed because I just can't I like to watch a video where it's like I, I, I feel really bad but when Jan does a live I don't normally watch that back if I've missed it because obviously there's a lot of chatting and you can't normally see the chat that's been happening and things so you can't really relate to what's been going on. We have Katrina from uh, Katrina's Creations that has just recently started putting videos back out so thank you so much. Um, they've been really inspirational because the stuff that she makes is just it's always been so nice um and she gets a lot of yarn from a guy from facebook um and the yarn that she buys is just is so nice um so yeah we have katrina uh and the next one is kia b so it's k-e-a-b-e-e -E -E. um i've just recently started watching this channel they ha are doing a mania i don't know if anyone cross stitches and knows about this i didn't know about it but it's called mania um it started a few years ago and basically you organize to have um, I think it's like 20 new starts in May and you sort of go from there or you have as many as you want and you only work on those ones in May um, but I was she's um, her channel was a quilting channel and then they, they started cross stitching it's her and her husband which I think is so amazing uh, so they're both cross stitching at the moment and they're both on the videos um, and it's just really nice to see that a man is actually enjoying cross stitching and crafting um with his wife um i just think it's really nice um the next one is knit all the yarn podcast um i'm trying to think who that is knit all the yarn podcast i think it's 72 stitches on instagram and I can't remember her name. I'm so sorry. Uh, but she knits socks like there's no tomorrow. Um, I'm sure she has knitted like over 100 pairs already this year. It's crazy. <laughs> we have Lucy from Lucy Coats. She's recently started putting videos up again. Uh, showing all, all her bits and bobs. And um, I think she's started to do some sort of life videos as well. Like showing her, her cooking and, and bits like that. Uh, we have... Ali from Miss Ali Makes. Uh, she is making um, a really lovely cardigan at the moment. I watched your video yesterday actually. Um, and she is on in Australia. She makes some lovely uh, bits and pieces, amigurumis and things like that. We have Ella from No Catchy Name. She is a crocheter and she normally um, has got a big massive blanket on the go for um, the county fair. I don't think that's happening this year. Uh, she's also got a channel, um, a life channel showing her and her um, her like weight loss at the moment. Um, so that's Ali from uh, no, that's Ella. Sorry, from No Catchy Name. We have Hannah from the Corner of Craft. 
uh, which she does a normally a weekly but I don't think it's weekly at the moment uh, she has a hand dyed business hand dyed yarn business she sells stitch markers the beaded stitch markers um, on Etsy I think or she might have her own website um, but she makes some lovely stuff as well uh, then we have Hannah again from the Cozy Cottage Crochet which I just wish I had her energy. <laughs> she is so bubbly, so lovely. Um, been watching her podcast, I think from the very beginning. Uh, it popped up and it was the first one and I loved it so much that I just sort of carried on. Uh, she makes some lovely stuff. I've actually won a giveaway of hers once um, and it was sock yarn, I made some socks. I think I gifted them to my sister. Um, so been watching her for quite a while. We have The Lonely Knitter. Um, I've only been sort of watching her recently and I can't remember her name I will put all the details wherever it needs to be um, I can't remember her name I'm so sorry um, but she has doing crafters balm at the moment that's my phone she's doing crafters balm at the moment um, and she's selling um, whatever she sells one's going to the nhs which is a really really good thing um i'm just gonna answer my phone and i'll be back so where was we <laughs> um i think the lonely knitter i was at um yeah i've only been watching her for a little while and i think it was just before we went to wolf and abby wall show that i started watching i don't know where her channel come from or anything like that um but yeah so the lonely the lonely knitter we have Kelly Ann from Yarn Tales by the Sea, and I started following following her through Leslie at Not Quite Enough Yarn um, because she's in the same drumming group as Leslie. Uh, she does a podcast once a month. Uh, she makes some really lovely stuff: jumpers, socks. Um, I don't think she's made a blanket, but I know she knits garments. Um, and she, she knits and crochets, so go check her out. We have Terry from the Yarn Joy podcast. She um, does a podcast and she does some really lovely crochet. And she norm she does a lot of um, sort of um, knit along, no, crochet alongs um, and like the squares and things like that. Um, I haven't caught up with a couple of her last uh, podcasts, so I can't tell you what she's currently working on. Um, but she's a really lovely lady uh go check her out she's helped me get subscribers in the past so i just want to say thank you um we have um the knit girls and that are leslie and <laughs> leslie and oh, laura leslie and laura um at the moment they are um doing their videos separately i think it might be through zoom or something like that um and they've got headphones on and they're showing what they're working on which is really really nice um i really like some of the stuff that they make go check them out uh we've got zines and roger and her name is <laughs> i know jan always forgets this as well oh i'm so sorry Z? No. Zines and Roger. I can't remember. I will put it down below. Um, she crochets. She's a crochet designer. Um, and she's working on some really nice stuff at the moment. Go check her out. Um, and then we have Z from uh, Zelda NRJ3. Uh, she is doing um, podcasts and videos and just random videos at the moment uh she's really really lovely she makes some wonderful stuff there's even stuff that i've made because of um z that she has shown um so yeah that is my list for crafters if i've missed any of you out i am so so sorry please leave your channels down below um give me a slap on the wrist <laughs> uh because i have just forgot um i did go through my subscription list like i said um and if there is any channels that you think that i might be interested in too then leave them down below or give me a quick message on wherever social media um but that is everyone that i am currently watching so when i say um 
I need to catch up with YouTube. <laughs> it's normally because all these people have put a podcast or a video up and I'm like, oh my God. Uh, but yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. Please go and have a look at the channels if you are interested. Let them know that I sent them your way. No, I sent them, I sent you their, oh, <laughs> I sent you their way. <laughs> anyway, oh gold. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in part three.